Hey, Jason here. In today's free training video, I'm going to talk about one thing, one calculation that can change your life forever. How do I know that? Because it's completely changed my mindset about everything when combined with a couple other things I'm going to talk about. Um, I've talked about this a little bit before, but value investors are considered super cheap. Um, and one of the actually previous free training videos, I said the one area I'm not cheap is when it comes to my learning, my education, gaining knowledge, gaining skills, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this, in this video, I'm going to talk about one calculation that will change your life forever, and it's the value of your time. Your time. So how, what is the value of your time? I'm sure you've, if you've been in the finance investment arena for a long time, you've heard of you need to value your time, um, don't waste time, time is money, all this, all this kind of cliched sayings. Um, but what does it kind of truly mean at its base level? You put a value on your time. And I uh, let me first give credit to uh, Grant Cardone, who I first heard this, or I, who kind of recently... Um, I heard this concept from and kind of drilled it in. Um, I've heard about this again for a long time, most of my life, is that you need to value your time, value your time, time is money, all this kind of stuff. But he kind of put it in a real world perspective that just kind of clicked for me. Um, and this was probably a year or two ago, um, and I'll tell you why I'm talking about it now instead of then. Because another piece of information or another thing I was learning from recently made it click even more. Um, so, if you've been following my journey for a while, you know I've started several businesses um, since the time I was a kid until now I'm 31. Um, several businesses, um, some have failed, some have, some have done all right, and some have done, been extremely profitable. Uh, or are building to extreme profitability. Um, so I've, as a business owner, entrepreneur, your time, in my opinion, is, is your biggest asset. What you do with your time, everybody has, this, again, another cliched saying, everybody has the same 24 hours in a day, it's a matter of how you use it um, that makes a difference in long-term success. Uh, I'm a huge believer in that as well. So, to get back to the original kind of statement, what is the kind of thing that made it click for me when, um, that I was learning from Grant Cardone, I think it was in, what was it? It was in his book, The Millionaire Booklet, I think. If you literally put a value on your time, literally. Um, in this case, as of this recording, and I just did this calculation the other day um, to prove a point to my uh, my wife and my mom, which I'll get to that story as well um, to illustrate this point. So, you literally put a value on your time. For example, for my time now, uh, actually I'll go back a little bit. A couple years ago, I would have put a value on my time of between $10 and $30 an hour, depending on how kind of profitable things were um, at that point in time. Now, because I've upgraded my skills, upgraded my knowledge, upgraded my, frankly, my capacity and self-confidence in myself to value my time more, I charge between $100, $100 and $500 an hour at minimum for my time to clients. Um, that's what I value my time at. Um, so how does this kind of equate to doing things? Um, or how does this kind of re equate to a real world example? The ex And again, this example I believe is from the Millionaire Book by Grant Cardone. And I'll give you a real world example to follow up on this as well. <clears throat> Anything, so let's say my base dollars per hour that I am willing to uh, charge, $100 an hour. That's kind of the base level. Again, $100 to $500 an hour is typically what I charge right now, and it's going up as I continue to raise my skills and knowledge. Um, anything that I cannot accomplish in an hour, I don't do. Um, for example, real world example, um, this past weekend, or if it, it's not worth my time to do, um, if it's not being productive towards me reaching my goals, uh, my company's goals, all that kind of stuff. Um, so for example, we're getting ready to possibly list our house for sale and we wanted to change out the carpeting. We've never done that before. Uh, 
we wanted to install laminate flooring, uh, hardwood laminate flooring. We've never done that before. So my mom and my wife thought it would be a great idea for them and my uncle who has done this before to, or my wife's uncle, sorry, uh, to do this project to save money. So instead of and this is how you have to think about it as an opportunity cost. What else could you be doing with your time to produce either income, profitability, spend time with kids, make memories, whatever the case may be. Um, that's where the kind of uh, the number, $100 an hour, $500 an hour, $1,000 an hour, whatever it is, whatever your number is, uh, that's where the number kind of comes in. Is my time worth it to be doing this? So to kind of illustrate this point to my wife and mom, I uh, I just put a base estimate on all of our times um, and estimated they thought it would take three to four hours to actually do. I knew that wasn't going to be the case because I dealt with major projects like writing books and that usually takes three or four times longer than you initially think. So, but to go along with their example, it was going to take approximately $1,500 to $2,500 worth of our time, just our time, to do the this flooring and I said it's not worth our time I'd rather be spending time with the kids uh, relaxing a little bit going to the beach fishing uh, doing something with the kids and the family instead of doing this and they're like no we'll do it we'll do it we'll do it it'll save us money I kept saying no it will not it's going to cost us money in terms of our time so what ended up happening instead of it taking three or four hours it took 12 hours and we didn't even finish we had to, so in, in reality, it took, it ended up costing us in terms of our time again, $2,000 to $3,500 just in terms of our time to do the flooring that we didn't even finish. Then we had to pay another company to come and finish it. Again, they gave us a good price because it was mostly done. But so in reality, it cost us in terms of time, uh, money and actual money to have the other company come in between two thousand and three thousand dollars in terms of mostly time and a little bit of extra labor from another company so to get back to the original point of what how do you value your time and what kind of is your threshold of if you should be doing something or not if I can't do something that's not in my specialty that I can do something to hopefully at one point produce $100 to $500 per hour, it's not worth my time. I don't have a passion to do flooring. I don't have a passion to do renovation. I have no skill, no knowledge in this area. I can do it. Yes, I prove, we prove that, that we can do it. Um, but was it worth our time to spend the entire Sunday doing that? Again, not watching football, not hanging out with the kids. Uh, Instead of relaxing and doing something with the kids, we spent all 12 hours doing that. So, for example, a kind of a, more of a real world example is um, my team. I I delegate many tasks to them. Uh, building, uh, building some marketing and sales funnels, design features, uh, social media marketing, uh, editing of videos, doing research, all these kind of things because my time is better spent doing stuff like this, creating content. Uh, another thing that kind of made this stick that I talked about a little bit ago is Dan Sullivan and um, a guy I've worked with before. As he, they, say, they both say you need to create a list of the things you should be doing, the things you don't want to do, or that you don't like doing, and a list of the things you shouldn't be doing. For me, that's anything design related. I suck at design, I don't have an eye for art, I suck at it. I shouldn't be doing any of that. My list that I delegate tasks to my team, I think is 25 to 35 tasks at this time that I delegate to them, and I focus on, I think it's five or six things. Creating content, uh, servicing clients, and training students, uh, focusing on the strategy, these kind of things. My time is better spent on these kind of higher level functions while they build out everything. Uh, another real world example, 
uh, if you value your time at $100 an hour and you can pay somebody $10 an hour to do something, mow the grass. I don't mow the grass at my house anymore now that we live in Florida. It's too hot. I get horribly dizzy if I do it because of allergies and the heat, um, which exacerbates my dizziness problem that I still do. I cannot, physically I can't do it or I, I can do it, but I feel terrible for pretty much the entire week after that. So just in terms of the 30 minutes we pay the yard guys every once a week to come literally saves me hours and hours and hours of time because I don't feel terrible um, again allowing me to do stuff like this uh, I would if I felt terrible I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this talk to clients as much as I do um, do case study videos all this kind of stuff um, plus it would make me feel terrible so I wouldn't be as good of a husband or a husband or a father to my kids either um, so you have to think in terms of opportunity costs again um, another way to think about it is um, again as a preparation for for um, getting our house ready for sale is we're having another person come and clean our windows inside and out because it's not a hard task we can definitely do it but it's a very time-consuming task uh, so instead of me spending four hours doing that again four hundred dollars a minimum my time there we're paying this guy I think it's 200 bucks to clean our windows inside and out and our lanai so we're paying him 200 bucks so I'm essentially creating two hundred dollars worth of value there that I could create in terms of long-term content long-term value to clients um, all that kind of stuff um, so combining that mindset with uh, Grant Cardone um, what he said about valuing your time and not doing stuff that isn't technically worth your time um, or in this in my case make me feel terrible um, as well that's another opportunity cost um, if I do some stuff like mow the lawn I can do it physically but it makes me feel literally awful for the rest of the week uh, combining Grant Cardone with uh, Dan Sullivan mindset of creating that list and doing things you should be focusing on has helped me kind of not only focus which is very important for any line of work uh, to do anything great but also because uh, it's allowed me to focus on what is truly important again servicing clients doing stuff like this helping other people uh, all this kind of stuff spending more time with my kids um, my wife and kids all this kind of stuff um, extremely important to me and I can't you can't do everything by yourself uh, and I've learned that over the last year and a half plus uh, but the most important lesson of this is just to value your time whatever whatever it is whether it's five dollars an hour fifty dollars an hour hundred dollars an hour whatever the case may be thousand dollars an hour uh, you need to value your time and not waste it doing things you shouldn't be doing that's how you will become more successful that's how you will gain focus and clarity um, which will bring you more success that's how you um, can service clients in a great way that's how you can grow your businesses um, have a happier marriage uh, spend more time with your kids whatever your goals are um, it will help you focus and frankly live more stress-free we spent all Sunday not necessarily arguing but bickering with each other because we were frustrated we were tired and this is another opportunity cost here we were again instead of spending time with the kids at the beach or just doing whatever we want to do taking to the pool whatever um, and relaxing we spent a lot of that time bickering um, because we were frustrated tired hungry um, mentally exhausted all that kind of stuff so that's another opportunity cost you have to think of that's powerful um, can I use my money to save time that I can spend with my kids uh, provide value help people um, again whatever your goals are that's this calculation and this combined mindset with Dan Sullivan um, which again I've been learning from Dan Sullivan for a while but it just kind of clicked when I was listening to something uh, one of his podcasts with Joe Polish uh, Polish the other day um, it just kind of clicked I was like oh okay um, this makes even more sense than it already did 
but doing this one calculation and having and kind of thinking about this mindset of opportunity cost and what I should and shouldn't be doing with my time will save you an enormous amount of time, help you get, gain focus and clarity, and help you reach your goals um, and dreams a lot faster. Uh, since and again, I've only been doing this for following this for about a year. This kind of mindset and it really just clicked in kind of fully in the past week or two as I've been learning more and more. Um, and it's just. I think it's incredibly powerful mindset. Um, as value investors, we know Buffett, he's, he spends most of his day reading because he purposely functions his day that way and that's how he's become so smart and uh, has built all these mental models, built a $450 billion company or whatever Berkshire Hathaway is at. So um, this kind of mindset can lead to enormous um, mental strength and power and help you reach your goals a lot faster. Uh, I hope you like this uh, free training video. I hope it made sense. If it didn't, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about this, let me, let me know in the comments below. Uh, this is, again, it's a very, very, very important and powerful concept. And if I could explain something better, please let me know um, because I believe it can help a lot of people, this mindset. Uh, and even even yesterday after they, uh, the other floor people uh, came to finish off our flooring work, my mom and my wife both said something that frankly as a man in the relationship and as a son and as a husband to a wife they didn't say they were sorry or that they were wrong but I got the second best thing I we learned a gigantic lesson here um, <laughs> so I'll take that uh, but it's extremely powerful extremely important um, help you a lot and if you like our uh, if you like this video make sure, uh, sure to watch our other series as well we have a case study series uh, my thought series on things like gold and silver and crypto um, Value investing in your car, which is now available via podcast as well. Um, episodes where I talk about value investing and related topics, how to learn better, uh, most useful value investing metrics, most useless value investing metrics, stuff like that. Uh, make sure to check those out. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and um, comment. I'm very active in the comment section. I answer all the comments personally myself. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and share and subscribe as well and hit the bell if you subscribe so you're notified anytime we're releasing a video. As of this recording, we're up near 380 videos so we're record and we're recording new videos every day so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified of that. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.